Welcome to the Microprocessor and Microcontroller Lectures Series. Here we are going to see how to write the assembly level language program for the multi-byte addition in 8.0x microprocessor. What is our problem? Write the assembly language program to add two numbers of multi-byte data. Multi-byte data means it may, may be a two-byte means it is a 16-bit data and 4 byte mean it is a 32 byte data depends upon the multi byte data can be added by using this program the problem analysis the multi byte data can be added either byte by byte or word by word the number of bytes in the data can be used for the number of additions one of the register is used to account for the final carry okay to perform the addition we record three address pointer two pointers for input data and one pointers for the output data okay now we are move into the algorithm first we are going to load starting address of first data in SI register next we are going to load the starting address of second data in DI register next load the starting address of result in base pointer register BP register load the byte count in CL register let BX register be a byte pointer and initialize the byte pointer as a zero first we are going to initialize the byte pointer as a zero here the bs register is taken as the byte pointer let's clear the dl register to account for the final carry here the dl register is to be stored in the final carry value and the clear the carry plug also okay next load the byte of first data in al registers add the corresponding byte of second data in memory to AL register along with the previous carry along with the previous carry that's why here we are going to use the the command of the instruction of ADC the ADC is the addition with carry along with the previous carry that's why we are here using the ADC let's store the sum in the memory location increment the byte pointer BX and result pointer BP okay we are going to increment the byte pointer value as well as the result pointer value Next, we are going to decrement the byte count CL register value. Here, this is going to increment operation going to take it. Here, decrement option going to take it. If the byte count, the byte, if the byte count CL is zero, go to the next step. Otherwise, is go to the step eight. Again, the, this red line to this red line process is going to repeat until the CL value becomes zero. If the carry value is set. That means the carry flag value becomes 1. It will move into the next register. What is the next register? Increment of the DL register. Increment of the DL register means initially the DL register's value becomes 0, 0. It can be incremented by 1. Otherwise, if the carry flag value becomes 0, the final carry value to be stored in this memory location 0, 0. Otherwise, the 0, 1, be 2. Otherwise, the 0, 1 value to be stored in this final carry memory location. Then finally, stop the program. This is the flow chart of this multi byte addition. First, load address of first data in SI register, load address of second data in DI register, load address of result in BP register, load byte count in CL register. Clear the BX register because of it is a pointer of this is a initialize the byte pointer. This is the initialize the byte pointer. Let's clear the DL register. Get the byte of first data in byte of first data in AL register. First, we are going to get a byte of AL register. Then we are going to add, add corresponding byte to the second data to the AL register. The second data to be present in this DA register, this value to be added in this AL register. The output, it is a sum value. It is to be stored in this sum, the cache, store the sum in memory. Next, we are going to increment the byte pointer value. Then, increment the result pointer byte pointer means bx value is the byte pointer it can be incremented by one next result pointer value is also incremented that means is a base pointer value is also increment let's decrement the byte count the byte count means the cl register value becomes decrement okay next if cl value becomes zero what's going to happen we are going to check the carry final carry value otherwise the, the step can be repeating the add subs the add step can be repeat again and again if the carry value becomes one what is going to happen sorry if the cl register value becomes zero we are going to check the final carry value becomes one this is the final carry value becomes one if the final carry value becomes one the increment of the dl registers value the increment of the dl initially that value becomes zero zero now we are going to increment by one 
okay if the carry value is not there okay so dl registers the dl registers value stored in this 00, zero value other way it can store the zero word value this is the flow chart of the multi byte addition now we are going to write the program first initialize the address of this is the thousand it is address stored in this si register source index register next this is the second data address to be stored in the da register next this is the result data address to be stored in this base pointer register this is the first data address this is the second data address is the result address to be stored in this si register di register and base pointer register initial the so first we are going to the thousand value this thousand the memory location thousand contain the some value this value is move into the cl register this is the count register in here we are going to take the five byte of data that's why this value to be moved to cl register next increment of si increment of si means this value is incremented by 1001 next move bx is equal to 000 this is the byte pointer value next move dl equal to 000h this is the final carry this is the final carry value Next, first we are going to move. Next, we are going to the main step of this program. Move AL SI plus BA. In the XI value is equal to zero zero one. The BX value is equal to zero zero zero. This memory location is containing some value. This value is moved into the AL register. Next, ADC. Why we are going to add using this ADC here is. adding with carry element is adding with carry element that's why here we are using the adc here the designation address is 1011 the base pointer address is 0000 this value become 1011 is contain some value this value is add with this al registers value okay al registers value the answer to be stored in this al registers the answer to be move into the base pointer memory location the base pointer memory location 1021 this value to be stored here the, the output value the sum value to be stored 1021 memory element next now we are going to increment the increment of dx value this is the byte pointer value becomes increment 001 okay next we are going to increment the base pointer value base pointer value is equal to already we know that the base pointer value is equal to 1021 it can be incremented to 1022 okay now the we are going to check now we are going to check the cl value the cl value is equal to zero is go to the next register is not zero is again is repeating this program here okay again is repeating the program here that time what is going to happen so the si value becomes 001 and the bx value is already incremented that value becomes 0001 the answer is 0002 this is 0002 is contain some data it is move into the al register and the da values now the da value is equal to 1011 the bx value is equal to 001 the location is equal to 1012 this contain some value this value to be added with this al registers value the answer to be stored in this al register this answer again move into this particular memory location particular memory location this process can be repeat until cl value becomes zero cl value becomes zero once the cl value becomes zero then we are going to check the carry then we are going to check the carry flag if the carry flag value is contain the one the dl value become incremented otherwise is move into here this dl value is present 00 is move into the base pointer registers value okay otherwise the increment of the dl value the dl value is again move into this base pointer value this is the program of the multi byte addition this is the program of the multi byte addition now we are going to explain with some example here this is our example this is the multi byte here we are going to take the five byte okay five byte that's why here we are going to initialize the si value become 05 the thousand address we are going to mention is the 05 this is the count value this is the count value okay next we are going to load this value in the particular memory location 101 is contain the value of 17 102 contain the value of 72 okay this 72 and 64 and c2 and f5 value this is the ax registers value this value to be move into the al register next this 12 is present in this 1011 07 is present in this 1012 memory location 75 is present in this 1013 memory location 
and 65 is present in this 1014 memory location and C2 is present in this 1015 memory location. Now we are going to add these two values. 7 plus 2 is 9. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 7 is 9. 7 plus 0 is 7. 4 plus 5 is 9. 6 plus 7 is 13. 13 is equal to D. 2 plus 5 is 7. C plus 6 is equal to what? C equal to 12. Then we are going to add with 16. The answer is 18. The corresponding hexadecimal number is the corresponding hexadecimal number is 1 to the corresponding hexadecimal number is 1 to 2 be stored here. Okay. 1 is moved to here. Now we are going to add 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. Okay. Next, here is F and C. Here, what is the value of F? F is the value of 15. What is the value of C? C is the value of 12. We are going to add this two value 27. The answer is 27. The corresponding, the corresponding hexadecimal number. How to find the corresponding hexadecimal number? 27, 16, 1. The remaining is 11. Okay, 11 in this sense, the value becomes B. The output value becomes 1B. Here the B is stored here and 1 is, is a carry. Okay, this is the answer of this problem. Now we are going to explain the iteration by iteration. First, this is the program. Already I write here. First, what is the value of SI? SI is the 1000. Okay, what is the value of DI? The, the DI value becomes, what is the value of DI? DI value becomes 1011. What is the base pointer value? The base pointer value becomes 1021. 1021. First, move CL, SI. The CL value is the count value. The count value is the SI in the SI memory location is the contain the value of 0, 5. This move into the CL register. This is move into the CL register. The CL register contain the value of 0, 5. Okay, clear. Now, move BX value becomes 0, 0. BX value becomes 0, 0. And DL value becomes 0, 0. Okay, this is clear. Next, before that, the increment of SI. Increment of SI means, the initially that value becomes 1000. Now, if the value becomes updated by 0, 5, they incremented by 1001. Okay. Now we are going to move to the next. Okay. The first iteration, what is going to happen? The CL value becomes 0, 05. The CL value becomes 0, 05. The SI value becomes 1001. And BX value initially that value becomes 00. Okay. We are going to add these two values. What is the answer of the memory address? Memory address value becomes 1001. The 1001 memory address the values contain the value of 17. Okay, this is the value of 1001. This value is moved into the AL register. The 17 is moved into the AL registers. Okay, next DI value become 1011. Initially, the DI value become 1011. We are going to add the BX value. The answer is 1011. This is the memory location of 1011. This memory location is contain the value of 12. Okay, this 12 can be added with this AL registers. Okay, this answer is 29. This 29 value is present in this AL registers. Okay, next, this AL value is moved into the base pointer value. Base pointer, what is the base pointer value? 1021. This AL value 29 is moved into the memory location of 1021. This is the 1021. Next, what is the, now we are going to check the carry flag value. The carry flag value becomes 0. Here the BX value, the BX can be incremented. Okay, BX can be incremented. Here the BX can be incremented and base pointer value is also incremented. And CL value is decremented by 1. That's why CL initially that CL value becomes 5. Here the CL value becomes 4. Okay, what is the next iteration? The second iteration, the CL value becomes 4. The CL value becomes 4. That time, what is going to happen? The SI value is already is present is 1001 because of in this here, this memory address value becomes 1001. Okay, here this SI value to be used here. Okay, next the BX value is incremented Y in, in previous iteration. That's why this incremented value is equal to 0001. Now we are going to add with here, this and memory address value becomes 1002. This memory address is contain the value of 72. This 72 is moved into the AAL register. Okay, next BI value is 1011. The BX value becomes 0001. 
the memory address value becomes 0, 1, 2. It is contained the value of 0, 7. The 0, 7 add with the 72. The answer is 79. The 79 value is moved into the store in this AL register. This AL register's value into the base pointer value. The base pointer value memory location is 1022. Memory location is 1022. That's why this 1022 is a value 79. Next. That time the carry is also not there. CF value becomes 0. Now we are going to increment the byte pointer value next and the result pointer also incremented by 1, 0, 0, 0,2 and 1, 0, 2, 3. And CL value is automatically decremented by 3, decremented by 3. Next iteration, the CL value becomes 3, the byte pointer value becomes 0, 0, 0, 2, okay, byte pointer value becomes 0, 0, 2. Initially this source index value becomes 1, 0, 0, 1 and designation index value becomes 1011 the, uh, the memory location becomes 1003 this 1003 memory location contains the value of 64 this 64 value is moved into the AL register and the 1013 is contained the value of 75 this 75 add with the 64 the answer is D9 the answer is D9 it present in this AL registers this AL registers value is moved into the particular memory location that is the result Pointer location 1023. Next, here the BX value becomes incremented and base pointer value is also incremented and the count byte value becomes decrement. Count byte value becomes decrement. What is the next iteration? The next iteration the CL value becomes 2 and the byte pointer value becomes 0, 0, 0, 003. Now we are going to add with the SI and DI. The memory location becomes 04 and 014. The 04 is contain the value of C2, C2 is moved into the AL register, 014 is contain the value of 65, it is add with the C2, the answer is 27, the carry value to be stored in this, the carry value to be stored in this carry flag, this AL value is contain the value of 27, it is moved into the particular memory location 1024, 1024, okay, next the BX, the byte pointer value becomes incremented and result pointer value is also incremented and count value becomes decrement okay what is the next step the next step is cl value becomes one that time the cf value becomes one the carry flag value becomes one okay okay next the base pointer that means byte pointer value becomes 0004 okay 0004 now we add with this si and add with this da the memory location is 0005 and 0015 the 0005 is contain the value of F5 and 015 is contain the value of C2. F5 and C2. Now we are going to add these two values with the carry. That's why here we are using the value of ADC. ADC means add the value with carry. Addition, what is meaning by ADC? Addition with along to the carry. Along to the carry. Here this is carry plug is contain the value of 1. Now we are going to perform the addition operation. Add for uh, after the addition, what is the result? B8. Okay, B8. And the time also the carry signal is also present. Carry signal is also present. This B8 is moved into the 1025. 1025. If the carry flag value becomes 1 here. Now the base pointer, that means the byte pointer value becomes incremented. And result pointer value is also incremented. And the CL value becomes decremented by 0. Now the loop is stop. Now loop is loop is stop. Okay. Next we are going to check the carry flag. Okay. Here the carry flag value becomes one. What is going to happen? The DL registers value becomes incremented by one. Okay. This incremented value is moved into the base pointer value one zero two six. This value becomes moved into the one zero two six because of the previous one. The base, uh, sorry, the result pointer value become 1026. That's why this DL value is moved into the 1026. This is a carry value. This is the carry value. If the CF value becomes 0, what is going to happen? The DL value is not incremented. That value is always the value of 00. zero. This 00, zero value is moved into the base pointer value. Now, in this example, my carry value becomes 0, 1. Okay. Clear. This is the example of this byte pointer addition. Now we are going to explain with help of 8086 emulator.
Here I am just copying the program from this presentation and paste it to this emulator page. Okay. Now we are going to start this emulation. Okay. Now I am going to run this program. First we are going to initialize the memory location. I upload this memory locations values. The 10001. Okay. This is the first data to be located. First data address. First data address 1001. Is containing the value. Thousand is containing the value of CL value. CL value means count value. Here we are using the five byte. That's why that value becomes five. Next, this the one zero zero one contains the value of seventeen. One zero zero two contains the value of seventy two. And one zero zero three is contains the value of sixty four. And one zero zero four is contains the value of C two. And one zero zero five is contains the value of F five. Okay. Next, one zero one one. This is the one zero one zero. This is the 1011. This 1011 is contain the value of 12, and 1012 is contain the value of 0, 7, and 1013 is contain the value of 75, and 1014 is contain the value of 65, and 1015 is contain the value of C2. Okay. Now we are going to update this memory. Okay. The memory is becomes updated. Now we are going to execute step by step. What is first? The first is the thousand memory element is moved into the SI registers. Okay, thousand is moved into the SI register. This is the SI value. SI register value becomes updated. This is thousand. Next, DA register. What is the DA register? Initially, that value becomes zero 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 zero. Now we are going to execute. Okay, this is step one zero one one is to be updated in DA. Okay, here be updated. Next, base pointer. Where is the base pointer? Initially, that value becomes zero 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 zero. The address is 1021 is moved into the base pointer value. Here, this value becomes updated. Next, what is going to happen? The SI value, that means memory element, okay, 1000 is contained the value of 05. It is moved into the CL register. Okay, this is the CL register. Okay, file well, that value becomes 05 is moved to here. Next, increment of the SI value. Now, the initially the incre uh, SI value becomes 1000. Now, we are going to increment that by 1. This incremented by 1001. Now, BX value is already 00, zero and DL value is also 00. zero. Now, clear the carry flag. Now, first we because before that, I am going to check the carry flag is already 0. But here now, uh, once again, I clear the carry flag value. That time also the carry flag value becomes 0. Next, what is the next step? Move AL, comma, SI plus BA. BX value becomes 0000. zero, zero, zero. Next, we are going to add with SI value. SI value becomes 10001. The answer is 1001. This 100 memory location is contained the value of 17 is moved into the AL register. Now, 17 is updated here. Next, ADC addition with carry signal. DI value is 1011 is add with the BX value. BX value becomes 0000. The answer is 1011. The 1011 is containing the value of 12. We are going to add this two number. The answer becomes stored in this AL register. The answer is 29 to be stored in this AL register. Now, this 29 value is moved into the base pointer value. What is the base pointer value? 1021. This memory location to be updated the value of 29 here. This is the 1020. This is 1021. Now, we are going to update. This is 29. Okay, clear. Now we are going to increment the BX value. Incremented by 1. Here we are going to increment it by 1. And we are going to increment a base pointer value by 1. 1022. Okay. Next we are going to. Next we are going to. Next we are going to check the CX value. CX value becomes 0, 04. Once again we are going to repeat. Okay. Once again we are going to repeat. As like that. Until. As like that we are going to execute the program by step by step. Until the CX value become 0. Until the CX value become 0. If you are reaching the CX value become 0, next we are going to check the carry. Next we are going to check the carry. Here we are going to check the carry. The carry signal value becomes 1. The carry signal value becomes 1. If the carry signal value becomes 1, what is going to happen? We are going to increment the DL value. We are going to increment the DL value. Okay, we are going to increment the DL value. This DL value is moved into the particular memory location. Particular memory location. This is the answer of this our program. This is the answer of this our program. Okay, clear. Thank you.